Hey y'all, Pepper Guy here. Uh, today I'm going to make another uh, batch of uh, hydroponic nutrients. And I already made a video on this, but um, for that last video, a viewer actually pointed out uh, a mistake that I'd said. So uh, I'm going to address that. And I figured since you know I needed to make more, and the fact that I didn't get to um, get to use the pH up or down. I figured I'd just uh, just make a new video. So um, I've got a water, a gallon of water from my tap. Now I, I just mentioned this is uh, this is filtered water, so yeah, it's it's probably going to have a pH closer to seven, and that that's why I I didn't have to even use the uh, the pH down because it was just it was perfect. Once you add the nutrients, it will drop the pH, and it just happened to be right at five point nine. So. Hopefully it's not, so I can I can show you uh, using the pH up or down this time. So uh, so we'll get started with um, with mixing with the Flora series. So I mentioned that, um, and I even wrote one two or one two three. Um, it actually says on the on the bottle here. I never really paid attention or I never noticed it, but uh, it says it's best to add the micro always first. So. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll shake them up. And I did this, I did it last year, adding the uh, the grow first. But, um, I mean, heck, maybe it just does better. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, uh, let's see. Since I'm using a gallon, I do one teaspoon. Let's see, one teaspoon per gallon. So it's at the one teaspoon. And you don't want to mix these up together. You want to uh, you want to keep them separate always. So just go ahead, get that in there. Uh, I heard you want to kind of do it slow and drip them out. I don't know. I've, this is kind of how I've always done. But the main thing is not to mix all three of them together. You want to you want to mix them all um, individually in the water separate and just mix it up good yeah when you when you mix them together it's called um they can uh it's called nutrient lock i guess they kind of maybe bind to each other and don't don't allow the uh the actual nutrients individually to uh uh, to absorb into the plant so just always do it separate and uh, yep so I'm gonna go ahead and do the others all right we got that mixed up and I chose to go with grow then um, uh, bloom last it says you can do either bloom or grow that doesn't matter but the main thing is to start with uh, micro first. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and test the uh, test the pH. So last time, like I said, it was uh, it was a perfect five point nine right here, which is rare. It's not doesn't usually do that. Um, uh, we'll see. Usually, it's just a hair higher, and I you typically have to put the pH down. So we'll see. Uh, We'll see what happens this time. Oh boy, it looks like it's gonna do about the same. Well, I wouldn't want to touch it. I'll show you a little bit. It's, it's so it's five nine seven five nine six boy five nine six five nine five. Um, it's always good to 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 drop this in some um, uh, some distilled water, some like bottled water or something, just to kind of clean it off and then dry it off and put the cat back on. Uh, so it's about five nine five, which typically is uh, that's perfect. But um, let me just show you what even like one drop will do. I think I think in a gallon maybe one drop would do 
would probably drop it about, maybe let's try two. One, two. And again, don't get this on your on your hand. I've never I've never got it on my hand, but it's supposed to be a pretty high uh, um, strong acid. So just don't get it on your hand. And the the uh, the base too. It's uh, base can burn you just as well. All right. It probably dropped a little below five nine, but we'll see. And again, if you're going to use tap water that's not purified at all, you're likely going to have to add quite a few drops to uh, um, to get it to 5.9, just because most uh, most tap water is going to be about um, like 8, 8.5. So even adding the nutrients, I mean, you're yeah, look at that, it's 5.82. Oh boy, 5.7. Well, we can use both of them. I'll, now I'll do a couple drops of pH up. See, I just did this for <laughs> just to show you. I, I probably should have only done one drop or none. It went down to 5.6. So you don't want it at 5.6. So now let's put a drop of pH up. Maybe two. Yeah, we'll say two. Bring it back up to where we were. Either way, that's all I'm going to do, likely. I'm sure that's going to get us to about where we need to be. And you can see the when the pH up is put in there, you can really see it in the water. But yeah, sometimes, you know, if you don't get it right or you put too many drops, it's it's all good. You can just use the down or the up, or whichever way you need to go to, to bring it to where it needs to be. All right, so let's see what we got. Um, looks like the acid might be a hair stronger. Yeah, I mean, that's 5.7. 5.69. I'm going to add two more drops. And that's that's got to be it. Yeah, again, I would never have done this if if it was five nine five. That I mean, that's that's as close to good as you're gonna get. Just wanted to kind of show y'all what these uh, pH ups and downs will do. All right, now let's see what we got. Yeah. Five eight nine, five eight eight. I'm gonna go with this, even if it goes down to five point eight. Yeah. Five eight five. I'm five eight four. I'm good with that. That's fine. So that's it. Just wanted to um show that little uh that little correction and um yeah that's it appreciate it um remember to like subscribe and, and comment below like you know I, I i can appreciate any um any correction like that because i it was surely on the bottle the whole time so thanks everybody see y'all next time